Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from uh, Tech Fans. Yes. So, as you already know from our last uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro or Pro Max video, we have installed the unofficial Pixel Experience Plus on our Redmi Note 10 Pro. I was using that for some time and suddenly we have received the official Pixel Experience from the Redmi Note 10 Pro community. So suddenly I have uh, switched to this official uh, Pixel Experience and then I was using it and here are my thoughts and let us take an in-depth look. So before starting this video, I have to mention that uh, in this video is will be same as our previous Pixel Experience video of uh, Redmi Note 10 or sorry Note 11. So I will try to finish it as quick as possible. So this is latest official Pixel experience uh, OS running on uh, Android 13 with the latest security patch of November 5th, 2022. The kernel uh, here it is showing as Kevl, so which is based on 4.14.299. The build date is uh, 30th November 2022. You already know what the boot animation looks like. So let's get uh, straight into the business. So first we'll see the uh, DRM. DRM wise, uh, uh, it is uh, L1 supporter. So all your content and things will uh, perfectly uh, run in full uh, its uh, supporter resolution. And the second thing is uh, CPU throttling. So I did run the CPU throttling test and and it stayed like uh, almost 82 percentage of uh, all the time. So is it good? I don't know, but uh, it just showed some uh, significant decline from the starting to the end, which is a noticeable uh, thing to consider if you are doing a long run or something, it may have uh, uh, it may uh, provide some uh, issue in the uh, numbers. So yeah, uh, third thing is uh, Geekbench. So Geekbench wise, uh, I have run twice and the score is almost like uh, 537 to 545. We can take it as 540 and the multi-core is uh, 1000, uh, uh, 1587, something like that. And the computational score wise, it is 1300. Uh, which is a great score in terms of uh, this processor. It is a gaming processor of course, so the score will be higher and we'll talk about the gaming in a uh, few minutes. Uh, uh, next fourth thing is I would like to start with the 3D uh, mark. So I have run the 3D mark and sorry, I'm again running. So the results are almost same. Uh, I have run twice. So 1116 or 15 with the FPS of uh, 6.70 uh, uh, which is uh, great um, in my opinion. Uh, the next thing is uh, camera to APA. Camera to APA is enabled by default and it will have the uh, level 3 support from the beginning. So you can directly install the Gcam and other things which works uh, perfectly fine. Next thing is uh, safety net. So safety net uh, um, succeeds uh, as it is official and also it is encrypted one. So all the four uh, basic uh, criteria got uh, succeeded. So you can use all the banking apps and other payment apps without any issues. So that is there. And then I did run the, I was using the uh, NetMonster as soon as I installed. So it did supports the uh, career aggregation so i thought it won't support uh, but uh, when i was using my uh, geo network uh, it was supporting very well here you can see it was connected to uh, three uh, network bands 2300 850 and uh, 2300 uh, which is good and i got speed above uh, uh, 6 uh, 56 mbps download speed and the upload is like uh, 7 mbps so which is actually good speed uh, in my opinion just opinions and wi-fi calling well it did support uh, wi-fi calling so i just uh, checked here and we have an option to enable the wi-fi calling so here if i go uh, sim card and here we have this option and I did enabled it so here you can see that uh, Wi-Fi wi symbol so 
so yeah it did support uh, wifi call so now we will talk about the uh, day to day performance so day to day performance wise the recent any issue i would say it is good very very smooth i was using uh, multiple things uh, which just uh, takes care uh, very well and i just uh, may have played uh, uh, videos and games uh everything working fine whatever you put into it it just uh, works really really great yeah there is in any issue with that uh, the multitasking wise things are very uh, smooth and it is uh, taking full leverage of the device that is the main thing so yeah and 120 fps screen with this uh, ultra performance and other things it feels like uh, feels like a flagship device i never used a flagship device but yeah it is really really uh, great i get that stock feeling as well as the uh, uh, great uh, performance and other things so now we'll talk about gaming so i played bgma for uh, half an hour or something so in that time i didn't notice any uh, uh, issues so i also have uh, took the screenshot of the settings so in uh, hd setting uh, it will go till high frame and in balanced it will go to ultra one so from the starting to the beginning or uh, ending of the match uh, this stayed really well and also uh, the one thing to notice is in smooth graphics you don't uh, get the uh, uh, exclusive 90 fps option or something so that is there to uh, mention now let's talk about the battery battery backup wise i am getting like 7 uh, to 9 hours of uh, screen on time so here you can see it like uh, so it took like uh, one and a half hour to charge from uh, uh, charge the 80 percentage so one for one hour 45 minutes or something it will take i used uh, 33 watt adapter but it doesn't support the fast charging it is good i i would say it will increase the span of life um so yeah that is what about battery and uh, charging thing so what are all the good features that we have well uh, we have the face unlock and the mi sound enhancer and it is official one so you always can expect the system updates so currently uh, there is into one uh, so that is that and you can toggle between 120 to 60 fps you have that option in under the display section so that is great and also we would have been great if we get an option to switch to uh 90 fps or something so that is not that um and then you have the tap to wake on feature so you can uh, double tap and it will open and also you have the face unlock so it will automatically unlock the device so these are some of the good things that you have it in the pixel experience so what is bad well as like every other pixel experience there is no uh, customization uh, to be honest it's a plain uh, evo sp like thing and there is no network monitor indicator and there is no dedicated gaming mode or something to check the fps or and other features and also there is no advanced restart option so i have explained the pain of pain that you have to go through for uh, using the pixel experience in that uh, redmi note 11 video yeah that will mostly uh, suffice for this one so i would say if you are, if you are not uh, much considered about customization and you want stable and long term use and you no need to think about uh, what and all new roms are coming or something you can definitely uh, try this one you will get that uh, feeling of uh, stock android you can go long way so yeah that's what about this video hope you liked it and if you be if you want to be a part of uh, our uh, tech fans yes community you can join our uh, telegram group so where we have similar minded people and currently it is growing really slow <laughs> so you can join by using the link uh, which appears in the card right now so yeah feel free to subscribe to this channel and join our telegram group so thank you for watching kotmoto